In Oakland tonight, there are new charges, meantime, of police brutality against an Occupy Oakland protester. And once again, it involves a war veteran. He had surgery today for a ruptured spleen. ABC 7's Tiana McLeese uncovered the story and is live at Highland Hospital with tonight's developments on it. Tiana? That's right. What we do know is that Kayvon Sabagi, Sabagi is out of surgery now and recovering in the intensive care unit here at Highland Hospital. Now, as you know, this is the second time in just two weeks that an Iraq War veteran has been injured during violent clashes between protesters and police. And today, I spoke exclusively with his family members, and his sister tells me that she is devastated by this and something has to change in this city. Sholesa Beggy says her little brother Kayvon is an Iraq War veteran who supports the Occupy Oakland movement. In an exclusive interview with ABC 7 News, she told us that her little brother did participate in the peaceful general strike during the day Wednesday, but he lives near Franco Gawa Plaza and he was walking home along 14th Street Wednesday night away from the violence when police stopped him. And he was out there to, to uh, support his city and to support his fellow Oakland residents. The former Army Ranger was ordered by several officers to walk in another direction. And when he asked why, his sister says they beat him with batons, rupturing his spleen. Just because you have the power to do so doesn't mean that you have the right to do so. You can't treat people that way. Kayvon was taken to the North County Detention Facility for resisting arrest. Cholet says he lay on the cold floor of his cell for hours in excruciating pain, begging to see a doctor. At one point, he asked for some assistance, and they told him to stop taking heroin. Uh, another time, they told him that he was an alcoholic and a diabetic, neither of which are true. After the military, Kayvon became an entrepreneur and currently co-owns an artisan brewery in El Cerrito. His sister says he's dedicated his life to serving this country, and he did not deserve to be treated the way he was Wednesday night. I'm absolutely furious. I'm absolutely furious with the way they treated my little brother. I'm so mad. Cholet says she did not find out about her little brother's injuries until he was brought to Highland Hospital last night, nearly 24 hours after he was taken into custody. She blames Oakland Police and the Alameda County Sheriff's Department. They hurt him, and then they refused to help him. Now, we did receive a statement from the Alameda County Sheriff's Department. They say they are investigating Kayvon's claim, and they say they are also reviewing video as part of the investigation. We know that Oakland Police has launched a similar investigation today, and for now, Kayvon's family is just focusing on getting him better and trying to overcome this brutality he claims he suffered. Reporting in Oakland, Tiana McLeese. ABC 7 News. All right. Thank you, Tiana.